Helpful hints for recording money in and money out. To move around, use your arrow keys or your tab key to move to other columns and press the enter key to record any information in a cell. You can also move between the allocation columns by pressing the first letter of the column name on your keyboard. If you are unable to move to another line, it means that the line you are on is incomplete. The rule in the money in record is that the total receipt must equal the combined total of the allocation columns and also equal the combined total of the bank deposits and receipts not banked columns. In the money out record, the total bank payment or total cash payment must equal the total of the allocation columns. When you amend a line that has been previously completed, you must ensure that you also press enter on the bank deposits and or receipts not banked columns in the money in record to confirm these amounts. Autofill. When you type in the customer or supplier and details column, a selection box will appear at the right side and the autofill facility will match the letters you are typing to any details that have been previously saved. You can continue typing or you can click on the selection box to select the customer or details you input on a regular basis to save typing information that occurs regularly. To turn autofill on or off, click on the options icon. Select autofill options and click on the box to remove the selection to use autofill. You can also remove autofill items that you do not wish to appear in the list from this screen by clicking on the tick box next to the name you do not want to appear anymore. Click on the save button to save the changes and exit the options. To correct the mistake, to change the amount you have already entered in a column, arrow to the amount you wish to change and simply start typing if the amount is highlighted. If there is a box around the cell, click into the cell to activate it. To delete the amount, press the delete key on your keyboard. Copy and paste transactions. To copy a single transaction, Right click on the grey box at the left side of the line that you wish to copy. To copy multiple transactions, click in the grey selector box at the left side of the row for the first transaction. Then hold down the control key on your keyboard as you select the other transactions you wish to include. If all the transactions you wish to include are together, you can hold down your shift key on your keyboard and select the first and last transactions. They will all be highlighted to show that they have been selected. Then press the Ctrl and C keys together on your keyboard or right click on one of the grey selector boxes for a highlighted row and click on copy. Select the name of the account, the month and the year where you wish to paste the copied transactions. Click on OK to finish or cancel to exit. To insert a line, you can insert a line if you want to keep your transactions in date order, although you can also select to view in date order by clicking on the date header. Right click on the grey box at the left side of the line where you wish to insert. Click on insert new line. A blank row will be inserted immediately above the line you've selected. Enter a transaction into this row as normal. You could also insert a line by using your arrow keys to navigate to the line where you wish to insert and press the F8 key on your keyboard. Move transactions to another account or month. If you accidentally record transactions in the wrong month or wrong account, you can move them to the correct location. To move a single transaction, right click on the grey box at the left side of the line you wish to move. To move multiple transactions, click in the grey selector box at the left side of the row for the first transaction, then hold down the control key on your keyboard 
as you select the other transactions you wish to include. If all the transactions you wish to include are together, you can also hold down your shift key on your keyboard and select the first and last transactions. They will all be highlighted to show that they have been selected. Then press the Ctrl and X keys together on your keyboard, or right click on one of the grey selector boxes for a highlighted row and click on Move. Select the account the month and the year where you wish to transfer the transactions to. Click on OK to finish or cancel to exit. To remove a line, you can remove an entire line from your money in or money out records. Right click on the grey box at the left side of the line that you wish to remove. Click on remove line. You could also remove a line by pressing the F9 key on your keyboard. Recurring Transactions Add a recurring transaction. If you have transactions that occur regularly, you can save them in a list of transactions for easy input each time they occur. To add a transaction to your list of recurring transactions, right click on the grey box at the left side of the row for the transaction you wish to add. Click on Add Recurring. You can also do this by clicking on the grey box at the left side to select the row and then pressing the F6 key on your keyboard. To batch transactions together so that you can insert them all at once, click in the grey selector box at the left side of the row for the first transaction. Then hold down the Control key on your keyboard as you select the other transactions you wish to include. If all the transactions you wish to include are together, you can also hold down the shift key on your keyboard and select the first and last transactions. They will all be highlighted to show they've been selected. Then press the F6 key on your keyboard or right click on one of the grey selector boxes for a highlighted row and click on Add Recurring. Type in a name that identifies the transaction or group of transactions for selecting them later. Click on OK to finish. Recurring transactions. Inserting a recurring transaction. Press the F7 key on your keyboard or right click on the grey selector box at the end of your transactions and select insert recurring. The transaction will be inserted at the end of your existing transactions. Recurring Transactions Delete a recurring transaction. Click on the Options icon. Click on Recurring Transactions. Click on the Delete Recurring Money In or Delete Recurring Money Out option as appropriate. Click on the down arrow and select the transaction you wish to delete. Click on save when you've finished. Record a quantity. You can record an amount up to two decimal places for quantities with any of the allocation columns in your money in and money out sections. Arrow to the allocation column where your amount has been recorded. Click on the quantities button at the bottom of the money in table. Record the amount in the box that appears and click on OK. The cell in your money in or money out table will now have a small red marker in the top corner to indicate that a quantity has been recorded. Quantities will be recorded in your transaction listing, cash flow and general ledger listing reports. To rename the quantity column, click on Tools menu and select Options or on the Options icon. Click on Quantity, Column and Decimals displayed. Record the new name, up to 8 characters, and click on Save. This name will display on the Transaction Listing, Cash Flow and General Ledger Listing reports. Sort your transactions. You can sort your transactions to help you analyse your data. For example, you, wish, you may wish to see your transactions in date order, even though you've entered them in a different way. 
You may wish to see your transactions in customer order, where you may wish to look at all transactions for a selected allocation column together. To sort your transactions, simply click on the column header for the column you wish to sort by. Search for money in or money out transactions. Click on the tools menu and then on search. A search window will appear and you can select the search by date, amount, customer and receipt number. If searching for money in or supplier and check number, if searching for money out or details, if you wish to select more than one parameter, click on the advanced tab. Select your search criteria and then click the search button. The search results will be displayed. Click on the open receipt or open payment button to view the transactions in your money in and money out tables. Click on the print button to print the results or the cancel button to exit.